Examples. Simplify 3 to the negative 2, x squared, y to the negative 5, multiplied by 9x to the negative 3, y to the negative 4, and leave no negative exponents. So uh, you have 3 to the negative 2 times 9, you have x to the 2 times x to the negative 3, you have y to the negative 5 times y to the negative 4. This is 3 to the negative 2 times 3 to the positive 2. Add the exponents, you get negative 1. Here you have negative 4. No, here you have 0, and 3 to the 0 is 1. x to the negative 1 is 1 over x to the positive 3. y to the negative 9 is 1 over y to the 9. So your result is 1 over x times y to the 9th power. Example 2. We have 3 to the negative 2, which in the denominator becomes 3 to the positive 2. We have x to the negative 3, which becomes x to the positive 3 in the numerator. And we have y to the 4 and y to the positive 5, if we interchange the exponents. And uh, we go across the fraction bar. So we have x to the 5. We have y to the 1 in the denominator. We have 4y's here, 5y's here. So we, have, we are left with the y in the denominator as a factor. And we have 9 times 9, which is 81. So we get x to the 5 over 81y. Example 3, quantity to the power 0 is 1. This is a ridiculous little problem. This one can be done in different ways. One way is to modify the inside. So what did I do? I copied the whole thing here. And then, ah, I multiplied the outside exponent by the inside exponents. I can do that as long as everything is multiplication. If I had additional subtraction, I would not be able to do that. So uh, this becomes 3 to the positive 2, x to the negative 2, okay, 3 to the positive 2, that's 3 to the negative 2 here, x to the negative 2, something bothers me here. Um, Okay, the exponent is positive 2. This exponent should be negative 2. Oh, I see what happened. Uh, quantity to the negative 2 is 1 over quantity to the positive 2. And when I divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. So I'm writing the reciprocal of the fraction here, and the exponent will be positive 1. Therefore, this numerator is a denominator, and this denominator is the numerator. And then I have no more exponent out here. I don't need it. Then I have um, copying this. I am... Why is that 2 times 2? Oh, because that is squared. So this outside exponent multiplies the inside exponents, that's 3 to the negative 4, x to the positive 4, and y to the negative 10. And then I have 3 to the 2 here, and I got 3 to the positive here. I got x to the positive 3 here, I got y to the positive 10, here, and y to the positive 4. So I took care of all the negative exponents. And then I can add the exponents. I get 3 to the 6. I get uh, x to the 7 in the denominator. And I get y to the 10 minus 4, or 10 to the 6, or, or just plainly 6 in the numerator. So this looks like it's okay. Uh, 